So you've been waiting for two years through all of this for the Lodge Sportsman's Grill to come back online into production. Well, the day is finally here and I'm excited to show you this grill. Let's go ahead and get started. There it is. What's your name? Carlton. Carlton. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I know you get all kinds of happy people when you're delivering gifts. That's right. <laughs> we like that. Lodge did their big debut today with an online video that you were able to see them roll it out. It just so happens that they sent me one to arrive today to get a review as well. There's only a couple of us that are doing Lodge Sportsman's Grill videos as a focus item on YouTube. So Lodge sent a few of us these grills to go ahead and get a review to show you. Today is the rollout day. Big change on this. I can absolutely tell you what they did with their casting and manufacturing process. The old Lodge grill is one, two, three, let me count that again, uh, seven, including the, the in the great inside. So it's seven castings, all of which is set up, changeover, uh, different molds, parts that have to be managed in warehouses. So they've got this down now to four parts plus handles. So they what they've done with this is they've reduced their manufacturing investment in the making of this product. So uh, that doesn't make it necessarily a bad product. It just means it's it's a redesign to make the manufacturing of it easier. It does come with these lifting hooks being able to lift the grill grate. Shout out to Big Lou Barbecue. That's another one of those channels that does great Lodge Sportsman's Grill cooking videos. Lift the entire thing. Able to work the ash. This is designed as an ash catch as well as both sides have got damper doors right here that as you slide this back and forth, you control how much those damper doors are open. And there's even a little marking right here that says stop, that tells you you're at the end of the damper door range. And if you go past the stop, you then, are exposing the underside of the grill to the ash. So that's what that stop is for. So our plan is to do a simple cook, ribeye steaks and hamburgers. Some of the things that just about everyone does on the large sportsman's grill. And I wanna put this new design in this new grill through its paces on what the majority of us cook. As far as weight, this is, I believe it said 33.25 pounds. So it's a touch on the heavy side, you feel it. A huge difference in my mind, it's not self-leveling. The thing about the old Lodge Sportsman's Grill is with three feet on it, you actually are seeing how careful I have to be there. That's one of the major weaknesses in this is if stuff falls off of it. And when that cast iron hits like concrete, it breaks. I've already broken one of these in that same exact manner. But three feet means when you place it on a surface, it seeks level because it will teeter on the two front feet and the back foot becomes a, a pivot point. Unless I'm missing something, this is way out of alignment. I'm gonna have to do some grinding on one of these feet to get that to level out, which I don't have a problem with doing. I, sh I just, I shouldn't have to do it. I just wanted to show you the old way of dumping the ashes. Here I am pouring the ashes into the garden, but they've really done a great job redesigning this with the ash drawer. It seems to be very easy to use, nice upgrade. You can see we're going to be using 80-20 burger, definitely prone to flare ups. For the burgers, I'm gonna show you real quick how I layer my burgers, kind of like a Damascus steel, Damascus steel burgers. Each layer that spice forms 
as you fold that beef over, but you keep the nooks and the crannies in the burger, which is where that juiciness resides. I like my burger simple, salt, pepper, garlic, onion in the right ratios. Use dried onion flakes in your burgers if you're putting onion in because it absorbs the juices from that meat and doesn't put a bunch of liquid in when it cooks. Onions have a tendency to release a lot of liquid during the cook. That dry prevents you from getting those soggy burgers. I do like forming the burgers in these little trays, these little Tupperware trays. They make for nice storage and freezing too. While you've got those steaks rising up to room temperature, you want to pat them down. You want them as dry as can be after this salt dry brining process because that's what helps you get that good, great looking and tasting sear on the outside of that steak. We're also going to baste in flavored butter, rosemary, garlic, olive oil, and butter poured across the steaks adds great depth and flavor to finish off. Wait until you see the perfection that these steaks come out at the end of the video. I wonder if any of my accessories will still fit this grill. So the high temperatures, the seasoned grates, the cast iron, the, the coals, the wood smoke, all of that comes together in this grill to make really different, unique, and tasty flavors. Again, I hope you can pick up on my excitement and the enjoyment that I get out of cooking on this Lodge Sportsman's Grill. Also take a look at some of the accessories that I've built. That still fits. I use this as a kebab holder. Sits in those, all my kebabs sitting there. Although now you'll be able to kebab cook across this. Lay your kebabs across the coals right there. Now this will be the big question for everyone. Will the fish fryer fit and work? Yeah, the fish fryer fits perfect in between the bumpers. This is a BSR, this is an antique, but it's a, a fish fryer that fits as well. If you like the equipment and gear that we use in this video, I'll put links down below where you can go to purchase it through our Amazon store. So as far as a lid, I use a couple of different shaped lids, but this one, like it was designed for it. I'll be able to use this lid that I picked up at a thrift store for smoking and slow cooking on the grill surface. So while those coals are heating up, this is something else that I noticed new. You're able to use a grill key to lift the grates. You are unable to do that on the Lodge Sportsman's Grill. I know Lodge has other, like the Outback Grill, I think it's called. No, the Kickoff Grill. They've got other grills that I'd be interested in trying as well. If you've used any of those other grills, do me a favor, comment down below let me know what your experience is with them. So I'd say all of my accessories are going to transfer from the old one over to the new one. There is a uh, transfer there. notice in this is the logo for Lodge is missing from the middle in the new grate which I kind of like you always kind of had to cook around it before probably the most immediately noticeable difference is the shape of the grill gate grates and in actuality it looks like the footprint is much much larger but in actuality it's not you might gain a little bit from the rectangular shape, but it's pretty much the same size. Ooh, and I'm curious. Ha, 
so. Nope, that doesn't work any longer. But the grate does, the old grate does fit. Huge change. These grate marks. Do. Well, they fixed one thing in this grill. They changed the grill grate so that you actually do get nice sear marks on the curvature of the grate as opposed to those flat grates on the old one. We do our Lodge Sportsman's Grill cooking on, we made this table. It's a pretty heavy steel table, but Lodge sells a great table that's perfect for cooking with this as an accessory. I can tell you for absolute certainty that the grill cooks more evenly than the old Lodge Sportsman's Grill. There was a hot spot that always formed in the center and I'm not seeing this at all in this new grill layout. So that's pretty impressive. doing some more cooks on this and I'm thinking for the next video we're gonna do an old and a new side by side cook them identical and see what the cook differences are like subscribe to come back for more stay tuned because we're also going to do that 80 20 burger and see how the grill reacts to that With that damper fully closed and that 80-20 burger, you still, I didn't get bad flare up. At one point, I did have to put a cover on it to kind of tamp the, the flames down, cut off the oxygen, but it did not flare up. That's a good feature on this grill. makes a good steak and it makes a good burger so if you were to pin me down on the one thing that I don't like about this grill it's losing the self-leveling feature obviously on the table that I have and the circumstances that I have I'm gonna have to figure something else out as far as uh, how I keep that level whether it's grind a foot off or maybe add some metal and I'll tell you what I am gonna check that further for whether or not that casting is level or not I have a gut feeling if it's not, Lodge will make it right. So we'll find out. So YouTube says that this video is perfect for your viewing habits. This is my latest upload. And over here is a Lodge Sportsman's Grill playlist you might just enjoy. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click like, subscribe, share, 
and come on back for more.